What's up everybody? My name is Cody S. Yes. You've probably seen me before on Mindac Outdoors channel. Um, John actually reached out to me uh, about a week ago and asked me to join Mindac Outdoors. I got one video that I shot um, a couple days ago this week. Uh, it's a night fishing excursion. I think you guys are gonna love it. We got on some nice fish. We didn't get on anything huge but I do go out with a fishing guide from here in Green Bay. We go up to Door County, we get on some nice fish, and we catch plenty of walleyes, and I got it all on camera. So I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it and it, what you wanna see more of. Um, with fall coming up, we got a lot of great fishing and a lot of great hunting coming up too. So I'm gonna make videos based off of what you guys wanna see. That's that's really what my main focus is gonna be because you guys are the one watching and you guys are the one subscribed to this channel. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, please leave a comment down below and let me know if, what you guys wanna see and I will make it happen, guys. So please enjoy the video and until next time, peace. All right, guys, we just got the rod set up. Not even, what, are you, what would you say, two minutes? Yeah. <laughs> not even two minutes. I didn't know if we even had them all out there. No, they're not, because I'm still letting them out. Not even two minutes in, already nailed the first one. I love the way they look up here, beautiful gold colors. We're looking for some tanks. This is a good start. I'm gonna get her back in the water. There she goes. Very feisty. Guys, I just want to show you this uh, setup that Troy's got in his boat. I've never ran anything like this. Normally I got rod holders, uh, traditional rod holders like that. Uh, this he picked up from Rough Water Innovations is called. Yep. And you've been running this pretty much all year, right? Uh, yeah, I got it in spring. Uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, but now I just, I like it a lot. I run it all the time. Um, it really shines in, in rough water. Right. Because one of the things, like if you do run the traditionals, how often does your line skip? You know, you're up in four footers, three footers. Not everybody fishes in that, but you're out fishing three, four footers, and uh, your line is jumping over, or your board is jumping over your line, whatever. I don't get any of that with this. It's definitely neat. I've never seen it before. It's actually inter interesting. This is actually your outside board, which you would normally think would be your inside board, but this is actually your outside, your middle, and then your inside. So it's ran a little different, but it's it's cool. We got our first fish in the boat. We're gonna get that rod back out and uh, hopefully get on some pigs, guys. All right, just had another board go back. Same one. Troy's gonna grab this one. I caught the last one. He's gonna show you how to work these rods. Running Fox River rods tonight. Oh, I love my Fox River rods. A miracle I didn't catch that inside To be honest, I don't. I don't think you did. Well, guys little probably a little smaller than the last one but still a nice fish oh, mine's smaller than yours is yeah, <laughs> that's how that's the game uh, i gotta play tonight yeah. all right definitely putting this fish back there she goes awesome sweet what's up guys it's been a minute uh just hooked up on another one i think it's a it feels like a dandy actually it feels really heavy Troy's gonna grab that board off. Excellent. God, he's a pro. He's a pro. Huh? Oh, nice. 
walleyes. Nice rubber net. All right. Well, probably uh, kissing twins to those other ones we had in the boat yeah. earlier. Right, what, a 19, 20 inches? But it's some action, so uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna get this one uh, also put back. Still chasing that mammoth, and uh, it's gonna happen yet tonight. Not sure when, and that's the best part about trolling, and that fish was uh, really ready to go. But we're gonna get the bait put back, uh, make sure we don't have any other fish on, and yeah, we're good to go. See it, see it, see it. Oh yeah. This one, this one looks a little, uh, a little more squirrel. gold. There's another one. This one's a fatty. Yeah. Look at the little gut on that one. Oh yeah. Nice little, little gut. Chunky. Yeah. I think, eater. Yeah, I think we're gonna get a picture of this one quick before yeah, we release it, fish. just so we have some living proof here, just in case. <laughs> I do lose my cameras. I heard Back 40 uh, had a little situation out here last week, so just in case that happens, I'm gonna get a snip. Let her drink a little bit. Ton of fish on the screen. But uh, we're definitely working trying to catch some of these fish. Yeah, that's uh, that's little for out here, believe yeah, it or not. That is. That is definitely little for out here. Working on early retirement. Caught one right away. Thought it was gonna be a, a quick night, but it's been a little slow. But we do have six fish in the boat, so we're not doing too bad. All right, hold that thought. We got one more fish on. We're just about to give up, huh? Almost. Oh, it's just getting rough out here. Just well, one last one. One. Why don't you give it a kiss? There you go. <laughs> All right. Now we uh, now we're gonna reel up. We'll meet you guys in at the landing. It's it's way too windy out here for me to talk into this camera, so. We made it, made it back to the landing. Just got the boat back on the trailer. There's no lights in this parking lot. We did land uh, like seven or eight fish, I think. I don't know, I, I kind of lost count, but I think it was like in between seven or eight. I'm checking you out. Right now, we're st obviously still on open water. Um, catching fish during the day, catching fish at night. Um, been doing, last two weeks have been kind of crazy. Been a lot of time on the water. It's August, probably one of my favorite times of the year. August into September, um, especially at nighttime. Probably, definitely my favorite is August, September at night. Maybe December, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is in December Christmas, and nobody likes Christmas. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm gonna put his link down in the description, guys. Definitely go check him out. Um, he does put people on some big fish and uh, he's very easy to get along with. So you're definitely gonna enjoy fishing with him. I'll throw his link down there. Go check him out. Give him a call if you're interested in getting out in Green Bay, learning the system and catching some great fish while doing it. So. I want to thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Thank you, Troy, for taking me yeah. out tonight, filming this show. Thanks Had a lot coming. of fun. Yeah. We didn't get into any big pigs tonight, but we did catch fish. Yeah, we did catch fish. Uh, the big ones didn't cooperate. I think I think the weeds hurt us a lot. Um, yeah. There's a lot of floating weeds, and if you don't, if you're not checking your baits constantly, you're not going to catch fish. So. so it's always nice meeting new people, getting to fish with new people, and. That's one reason why I continue to do what I do, and yep. I know that's a big reason why Troy does what Absolutely. he does. So, thanks again, guys, so much for watching. If you like today's video, go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell too, so you guys can get notified when we post videos. And until next time, guys, tight lines, peace. Have a good one, everybody.